If you like Maine's indigenous ornamental stone, the tourmaline, then you're going to love tonight's New England Journal because it's all about a fresh discovery of a rich new load in an old pit in East Poland. Channel 8 News reporter Bob Dyke takes us there as one of the gem's discoverers shows us what all the excitement is about. And it's just so solid. It's a perfect gem. How much is it worth? About four or five hundred dollars. Right. Has tourmaline any practical use besides just ornamentation? No. Unlike diamonds, which can cut glass and grind steel, tourmaline has no other purpose than to be admired for its shape and clarity and colors. And it is rare. You have to look for it, drill for it, and frequently move the earth for it. Dynamite helps. Mother's Day, actually, we opened the first pocket. It was about this big, but it had about a thousand carats of tourmaline in it. What did you think when you saw that? There was nothing to even think. The mine would not even work. It was so spectacular. And here you see a mighty small part of that spectacular harvest. Yeah. Tourmaline so pure, there's a worldwide demand for it. It's really amazing when you consider that a beautiful piece of stone like this can come from something like this, a scarred and battered old abandoned Feldspar quarry. We were guessing that it was worth about $75,000 once it was caught. Not bad for a day's work. Not bad for two hours work. It may sound like they're getting rich quick, but they're really not. We're talking two hours after more than a year and a half of hard prospecting for Steve and his partner, Gary Howard. They may have struck a valuable vein of tourmaline, but they really haven't broken the bank yet. Will you be able to retire on what you found so far? No, no. We'll pay off a lot of our expenses and pay the landowner his share, and we'll, we'll have enough left over to probably have a pretty good party. <laughs> but right now, they're having a blast. Three, two, one. At the quarry's edge in East Poland, Maine, Bob Dyke, Channel 8 News. Job well done, Stephen Gary. That is all the time we have right now. Thank you so much.